Hello guys and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This is Sagittarius Love Reading. Guys, bear with me. I got a new microphone. So if you got headphones on and you're listening to it, you might want to turn it down. Hopefully the recording is good. It's not too loud. Y'all know sometimes I can get all in my emotions. But I'm doing the best I can. I will adjust as time goes on. Okay? But, um, all right. But this is Sagittarius Love Reading for the rest of the month. August, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just getting these out. But, y'all, I had all kind of technical issues. So, as you see, I got a mic, whatever. I got some more things I need to do. But, don't worry about it. I'm doing my best. I'm guided. I'm getting, I'm going to get the message out here, okay? So, sadly, this may not resonate with all of you. If not, throw it out into the universe so somebody can use it. If it does resonate with you, give me a thumbs up. Share, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of the Gemini Soul family, okay? Where I do release all signs every month, even if I'm late, okay? Can I get a thumbs up that I just, I stayed in there. I, I hung in there, okay? All right, sadly, let's talk about what's going on in love. Somebody... Making an offer. Is it you, Sadie? Or somebody making one of you? We got the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, the Empress. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, Sadie. We got the Page of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So, what I'm seeing right now for even, you got the Empress under the bottom. You in your power right now, Sadie. This is either you, because you know that fire sign, that's you. Male or female, it don't make a difference. You seeing somebody you might want to make an offer to, and it may be an empress. Mm-hmm. A earth sign, Virgo, towards a Capricorn. Or this person could be wanting to make an offer towards you. But the way I'm seeing you, looking at that pinnacle, you trying to figure out how you're going to move forward towards this empress. Emperor, empress. Y'all change it however you need to. And the thing is... This offer coming with some work. You know, I'm about to put the work in. I need to put the work in on this offer. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Woo, 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 sad. Sad, sad, she. Oh, sad, she. And then you got the three of swords under the bottom. Spirit, am I going too far? Spirit says, no, sad, she. You been, this person you moving towards, they been heartbroken by you. Or they've been heartbroken by you. Now, okay, y'all, let me get this together. For some Saggies, this person could have broken your heart. When I say broke heart, I don't mean like they did something deceptive, cheated or whatever. Maybe you ain't have time for the connection. Maybe there's a third energy, family, friends, community, work. Right? That's just a third energy, and you were not putting your all in there, right? So it wasn't two energies, right? I, you know, a lot of time everybody think that three of swords is always cheating. Definitely could be not. Now, I'm not, <laughs> I ain't offending nobody, Sadie. What I'm saying, you know your story. I ain't got to do all that. The thing is, there's a third energy in here. But this person, you really have love for them. You really want to work on this connection. Um, this person completes you, this person feels you, or the or you or or you feel this person's cup, and they really would like for you to work on it, okay? Um, let me see. Why is let me see who's making this offer? Is it you Sag or is this the person you going to? Here it is, a Sag. Yeah, Sag, that be you. <laughs> So you try to make an offer. <laughs> you got the Knight of Cups here. You probably even owe this person an apology. And I'm feeling like because you just didn't have the time for them. Or you just wasn't feeling. Hmm. Uh, all right. So, Sag, I'm also feeling. I mean, this sometimes it be like the spirit putting people business out here on the board. Sag, you going in and apologize. Maybe this person been holding on to you and wishing for the best with you, Sag. And you know you weren't putting the work in. And this person was still trying to hold on to the connection. But you was like, I was out there trying to fill my own cup and get my own wish fulfillment and work on myself before I can come through and offer you this cup of love. And this person probably didn't understand it. 
They just figured you wasn't interested. But they held on to the connection, even though they was hurt about the connection. The four pentacles, they was holding on for dear life. So they probably accepted you coming back and forth. They they might even didn't even feel that, you know, if things was over, that things would get better. This is like somebody holding on to you, sad. Or you now holding on to somebody. I'm just saying. I mean... Y'all know y'all's story. Let me see. What is this? What's the queen of... What is the... Dang, I ain't even get it out. I was finna say the empress. Well, two of wands. Making that decision, Saz. You want the empress or not? Do the empress want you or not? That's a decision. I really want no wand behind. And the wand could be that energy. Yes, because you got the two of cups. You got to get balanced. They got to get balanced. They want a balanced relationship. They actually want something with you, but they want you to make a decision, Sag. What you gonna do? You gotta leave something behind to move forward. You already feel sympathetic about it. You know, you know, you you want to apologize to this person. You feel like this person could be your equal. They like you could have something, or you feel that this person is very balanced and um, they have a you know big cup of love and. Maybe they're very stable. Well, they are stable. It's the Empress, honey. The Empress got all the finer, nicer things around them, the twinkly little shiny thing. They balance. They pay their bills. They got car, home, whatever it is. They comfortable within themselves. This is, you know, the Empress don't need anyone, but they'll take somebody in and nourish them as long as they putting in the commitment, giving an equal give and take. This person seems to feel like, you know, they pretty balanced or you feel they pretty balanced and you like that about that person. But what you going to do, Sag? All right, Judgment, Archangel Michael saying, asking you the same thing, Sag. What you going to do? Yeah. You got the four swords here. You need to do some gratitude or reflecting, healing. You going within to see what it is you really want. How can you show up for this connection? You know, it's some things you might need to heal yourself. That inner sag, right? That, that you know, mental. Uh, you may have had relationships in the past, where right? With them three of swords. Maybe hurt people hurt people. They That happens. And maybe you try to prevent yourself from doing that to someone because maybe someone did that to you. This person definitely could be at this time healing from this relationship. Perhaps they're going in and healing and, and working on themselves, or you've noticed that they heal and they no longer running towards this connection like they used to. Uh, and you like hoping that time ain't ran out and you still want to work on, work on this connection and offer them this cup of love here. That's what it looks like. Or well, vice versa. I'll take it how you want. All right. Um, let's clarify some. What, what is this uh, Ace of Pentacles here? This Ace of Pentacles? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, la, it's hot up in here. Y'all done got it hot up in here, Saggy Wadges. So, yeah, that Ace of Pentacles, that's like getting over that heartbreak. Mm-hmm. And now you want to go in and you feel that. You see, this person, your wish fulfillment. And that's why you want to apologize. You coming in with that pinnacle like, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to do that. I overstepped my boundaries. I lost my mind. You are my empress. I, I'm... I apologize, right? I apologize for that heartbreak. You are my wish fulfillment. I see you as my wish fulfillment. You know how it's going to work out, Saggy, but, you know, first step is recognizing what it is that you need to do because it looks like you see this person as your wish fulfillment. Maybe it was you went in and did the healing. And now you, Saggy, you realize, <laughs> shoot, Ooh, that's what I just heard Saggy say. So as you just said, all them other cups I didn't try since then, it didn't make me happy. Those cups were spilt. I need to go in with this cup here, offer this nine of cup, and this cup here, give me the ten of cups. <laughs> That'll give me the ten of cups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't you got this big old ace of cups? You in your emotions, Saggy. You done let your emotions out, huh? And you might have healed from a relationship in the past, right? If it wasn't that relationship, you was maybe working on your healing from a past deceptive relationship. Rather than not necessarily cheating, they could have had third-party energy, right? Because we talk about hurt people hurt people, right? Not that you was trying to hurt people, but you was trying to get yourself together. Maybe this person showed up at a time you weren't quite ready and you couldn't give it to them. 
now you realize this person is very much could be your empress, right? Could very be the person that you want to share your life with. You got to make that decision to do that and move forward. It's something you got to drop or you got to move forward towards them so they know what you're working with, that you really want to come in and offer your cup and you want to put the work in on this relationship and the judgment is here. So it's definitely available for you. Yeah, sad. you like, look, I'm putting a death to them old ways. I've been sitting up here trying to look at this situation logically. You know, I got to use my emotions, right? You went through a transformation, like realizing you were thinking with your head and you didn't realize, you know, I need to collaborate with this person. That might need to be my wife. I need to work with this person. Like we can build something together, you know? Uh, and you realize maybe you just thought you was in your head about this person, but it's a lot of cups. You got the six of cups. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Sachi, come on now. Talk about it. You got the, you got the six of cups in the lovers, Gemini. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Or this just you balancing your love out. Right? This is just you making that decision or a decision you got to make from a new person or somebody from the past. Somebody from the past or do you want the new person? Because sometimes the lovers can talk about making decisions. But it also can talk about Archangel Michael. And is this guy lead divinely guided? Does this person is for you? It's like you feel like you know him before. Like y'all, like in another lifetime, like y'all got something to finish here. And you finally recognize you got feelings and emotions for this person. You got to figure out how to make this move. You got to get this together, Sajid. I'm just saying, male and female, it don't make no difference. It's like, are you like, I didn't did the healing and... If I did anything or wasn't showing up for the connection, you want to apologize and you want to show up for the connection now, right? You, you, you're sitting here on your throne. You got what you need to move forward. You got this pinnacle ready to offer it. So you've been working on your stability too. So this person is stable. You shoot, it looks like you didn't doing nothing but working on your pinnacles at first. Now you're working on that cup of love. You're balancing this all out. And that's that's a judgment. <laughs> that's what the universe wants from you. That's what the divine wants. Equal give and take. So now you got your emotions and, and the universe said, now you done did the healing, the work, you done went in, you done had that rebirth, got out your head about it, realizing what it is. Like, okay, the universe like, okay, now here's something for you. This is for the work you done done. You done worked on yourself. You, you woke when in there seeing your worth. Maybe you had to see your worth, Saggy. Maybe you had to get stable. Maybe you had some toxic things, codependent, a whole lot of stuff going on, and you had to get balanced. And now the universe is like, well, are you ready? Saggy, you sitting up saying, yes. Yes. May I take that cup now? <laughs> Archangel Michael, may I take that cup yet now? And, and he's like, okay. We shall make that judgment. We shall make that judgment now. You really want your nine of cups? And Sadie like, yes. Because those cups, that they, they didn't work. <laughs> they didn't work. I'm tired of them. I want the real deal now. Mm, this is nice. Sadie, you holding on to the faults, to the four pinnacles. Like, this person could have been holding on to you. I'm also feeling like, Sadie, this person might feel you got options. They may feel you got options, but they also will hold it on to you feel like that's an illusion for you. <laughs> like, you really don't have any options. They're the one that could be a little possessive. You can watch that too, Sadie, or you're a little possessive now. So, you know, because <laughs> sometimes this is just being lost out there, confused, you know, having on the rose-colored glasses, not really seeing what's going on too. But somebody was holding on to it. It was you too, Sad. It could have been you or the person you was dealing. They was holding on to you that they had options. But I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you about these stuff in the cup. All of them ain't got good stuff in them. You got a pickaboo one up in there. I don't even know what that is. You see that one up in the head? It's like a pickaboo. Mm-mm. You don't want that cup. Mm-mm. I don't know what that is. And this other thing in this? No. Look, let me tell you. Ooh, and then you got the snake. The snake is right there in the corner. Mm-mm. Go on, get that cup if you want to. No, I think you need to let go of the idea 
of that you got seven options. That's not an option. Some of those cups ain't real. And you know, the devil will play tricks on you when when the angels come through. They've been talking about the angels and the devils have been talking these days. That's because they trying to decipher who going where, who taking over, who who going to be in their mindset over here. Well, you going to walk this path or that path. Don't get left behind trying to figure out what's in them cups. Look, you take what the divine got for you right here, right? Because they done showed you the truth. They done showed you. You went in, you did the work. This is when you go in doing the work. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Sagittarius. You can have Virgo in your chart. But you went in and you seen the light. And what the light is, and what I'm feeling right now. Ooh, Sagittarius, let me tell you. Ooh, you got me sweating over here, Sagittarius. Sag, look at this. Look what's under the bottom. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. You got the seven of swords, nine of pentacles, right in the middle, and the five of pentacles. Sagittarius, let me tell you what I see. And this is I'm just what Spirit just told me. This is what my guides just told me. This seven of swords is if you don't get to this queen of pentacles, or you don't open up, and I don't see the seven of swords as being deceptive. I see it as you not telling how you feel and what you want to do. And this person is single, free, but ain't going to be for long, right? May not be for long, or this may not be you for long, but you got to open up and tell what's going on. Otherwise, you see that nine of pentacles, that's the queen. She right there looking, he, she, it don't make a difference. At this five of pentacles, that's thinking about leaving this situation out in the cold because they feel it's deceptive. So you ain't, if you ain't making no moves, you know why you got to make moves. You know why you're trying to move forward now. You know why you want to apologize. You see what your, your nine of cups, you know, your wish fulfillment, your ace, you know, your ace of cups. And you see this working out because you, you, <laughs> judgment, you, you've been divinely guided to do better. To, you've been through the death or they've been through it. Somebody been through some stuff here. Could be on both sides. But you guys both to come together and collaborate and build something right about now. But that choice is going to totally be up to you. But what I can tell you is this person done the work and they waiting on that person to come in for them, Sag. They're not going to sit up here and wait around for you to decide to express yourself that you see them as, you know, a wish fulfillment. That you want to build with them and have an equal give and take. But they about to leave that relationship right out in the cold. They about to eat... <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I heard. That may not resonate with all of you, but if somebody don't come forth and start communicating about this situation, somebody's going to be left out in the cold. That's just what I'm seeing right now. Let me, let me get some, uh, and I told you, well, I don't know. Let me get some love cards here. It's a love reading because we got some love going on. It's just what we're what we going to start. Are we going to talk about it? Are we going to do it? Are we going to move towards each other? Because there's something going on here. <sighs> mm. I just having to split both of these. Passion and new love. Now we're going to see. Got passion and new love. I don't know if you got. Yes, I told you you had that two one. Somebody your passion is a new love. Someone you had passion for. You got passion for passion under the bottom again. All right, you need to. You gotta go running in, Sag. What's going on? Go on in there. You gotta run in, or they gotta run in to you. Somebody about to get away. Yeah, that's gonna be a shame. Yes, it will. That'll be a shame if you get away. Let me see. Religious factors. Okay. You know, when I see religious factors, I always think of what people will say. If it, you just got out of a relationship, a marriage, a long-term relationship, you know, they, I don't think you should do this. And different things, or you got kids by baby mamas or daddies, like, come on now. You know, it could definitely be religious factors playing a fact. Maybe you got two different, but, you know, Archangel Michael sitting right in the, the middle of this. You got the lovers over here by Archangel Michael. He's God in this, so... Don't be listening to people telling you what, what you shouldn't do, right? Because that's probably that third energy that why you ain't together anyway. Uh, very soon, very soon. Now, that's what the universe, I just told you, Archangel ain't going to let somebody sit up here to done the work to keep playing games and waiting. If this put together, been vi divinely guided and structured in the back, and now it come to the forefront, 
Yeah, like you have a window. You do have a window, okay? It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, there's a decision needs to be made and it needs to be made now. Yes, wedding. This involves commitment and wedding. I told you, you see, you want to build with this person. They're very nourishing. You love them. You care about them. You better get those feelings out there. Yes, wedding. It's coming. That's if you take action. If you do not take action, this will not be happening, whether this is you or your partner. You know where you fit in this. Eh? Somebody needs to take action before it's too late. Y'all got all the key components. You heal, transformation, building, stability. You know, the divine is behind you. Archangel Michael is here. The love of cards is here. The choice to choose each other, right? To build together. You got over the heartbreak. Apologize, talk, ten of cups. Like, I mean, nine of cups. Come on. Somebody's very stable and independent. Somebody can have it or not have it. Maybe you can have it, Saggy, and not have to have it. But it's totally up to you. But the opportunity is here, and the divine have put this here for you. So stop being in your head juggling them two of pentacles. Get in you or that person, male or female, king of cup, and get in there. Get in there and get what you got coming to you. And then the wheel. Oh, look at this. The wheel will start to turn. So you think you know how things going to go, but you don't because the divine got his hand in it. And this wheel will start to turn when you realize you balance. You know what you want. You got to take that offer in so that that wheel can begin. You can begin this commitment, long-term relationship, building a foundation, maybe combining families. I don't know. You know your situation, but... The opportunity is definitely here for you, Sag. It's just, are you ready? Who going to make a move? All right, I'm going to let this go now, Sag, okay? How many minutes y'all in? Okay, let's do this really quick, Sag. Give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Um, hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I just want to see if you're dealing with an air sign. Maybe it's an air sign, Kathy. Let's see if it's a Libra or Aquarius, Gemini. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. If it's an air sign, Spirit, what do you have? If it's an air sign, five of wands. I see that as you being conflicted within yourself. That could definitely be the reason why not moving forward. Maybe stuff going on around. You got you in your head, in your heart, your mind, whatever. Or people telling you what to do. Don't move towards this person. I don't know. Earth sign, look. Four of Wands building. That's a foundation. That's a family colliding together, right? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If it's a fire sign, I'll build it together if it's earth sign. You know you wants to do it. Fire sign, quick communication coming in, right? You, you fire it up. You got to get fired up. You got to know what you got to do for it. It's too late. <laughs> and look, that fire is you, Saggy. That's you. Communication. It's what the universe wants from you. Get in there. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You know, if you're a female, look, break the get, get going. Get going, especially if any of this seems to be resonating with you. Yes, water. This is a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got the two of pentacles. They're balanced. You're balanced. Go get balanced. Stop juggling the situation and go forth and make the moves. Can't make this up. Look what's under the bottom again. The Empress, you clearly need to be moving towards someone, Saggy, or they need to be moving towards you. I don't know. But this is the Empress. This is a nourishing person that's balanced and will not be sitting there waiting for long, just so you know, because they got all they need. All they're missing is love, and it looks like, Saggy, the only thing you're missing is love. That is the end of this reading. Love and light, y'all. Bye.